As you can tell by my face today, I'm incredibly enthused to talk about what I'm going to talk about. But I figured now is as good a time as any to get this started because that way you guys are more prepared for it in November when I start my series on politics and probably late October. Um, so I need to, need to be clear with all of you. Um, I know more about politics than any of you. And that's not a boast, that is a, a fact. I probably know more about politics than uh, most people um, because I read a lot of political philosophy and news and things that are not on Facebook or the cable news channels, which is how most people get their news, which is fine, right? No, most people are not junkies like I am. Uh, and, you know, that's good. It, you're saner for it, most likely. Uh, but I think I want to talk about this because this week is the Democratic National Convention and next week is the Republican National Convention. And because of those two things, basically my entire news feed, which was mostly like 75% dominated by politics before, is now like 99% dominated by politics. I was so excited last night on my Twitter when I saw one post that wasn't about politics. It was about like... Howie Leonard dunking or something like that. And I was like, wow, normal people out there still exist. This is exciting. And all of this is to say is that it's going to only get more tense until we get to the election, right? America is incredibly divided right now, politically, um, philosophically, uh, many, many ways. Uh, we are not seeing eye to eye in the way that we used to. And there are all sorts of reasons for that. None of them I'm going to stay here other than to just tell you that I think that's what we know just by looking around. And really the only hope to overcome that is the church. Uh, because people, as religion has receded from the public life, have looked for meaning in other places, right? We all worship. It depends what we worship. And for many, many, many people, that has become polit politics and political philosophy, right? That's why there are people whose whole pages on Facebook are dominated by politics. Uh, and if you are one of those people, perhaps is now a good gut check for yourself to really think about, um, you know, what is this saying about me? What is this saying about my priorities? Uh, and what is this, uh, and how am I communicating this message in light of what I believe is Christian? Um, it's, it's fine if you're in, interested in it, right? But it's, it's one thing if you find your whole meaning in political discussion and political diversion, uh, because that's not right. I think one of the things is, is, is one of the good ways to really challenge yourself is to find a brother and sister in Christ that you love that disagrees with you politically and then be like, Oh wow, maybe this isn't the most important thing ever because there are more important things. Um, and I think as, uh, as our nation becomes more and more detached from any sort of religious feeling, about anything. We're only going to see people get more and more fired up in politics. I think this is what happened in Europe. Um, and I'm sure it will happen here unless there is a heart change, which there always could be. I think what we need to pray for is we need to pray for um, some sort of revival in our culture uh, so that we can begin to see eye to eye. And I think the only way we're going to do that is by, you know, being, being a religious people because religion brings humility and understanding, even if it also sometimes does bring division. So uh, that's the hope anyway. Um, yeah, maybe I'll talk more about this next week. Maybe some other things I can complain about. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, just uh, be very, very cautious with how you speak uh, politically. Be very wise. Um, do not just share things because you think, you know, you got them. Um, because that really isn't helping any of the situation, all right? Uh, and if you want to talk politics, we can talk politics, but just know that I'll probably hashtag destroy you with facts and logic in no matter what political discussion we have. So all of that said, you know, you guys have a wonderful Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow for Friday where, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have something fun to do. So peace out, everyone.